Okay, good morning. It's Sunday, April 16, and we are headed to Starbase and uh, Padre to go try to check out these super heavy launch. Dad's here. Oh, yeah. You excited? Yeah. This is going to be incredible. Okay. We'll be at Starbase at 2.30, and then we'll play around there. Great. Okay, so we're at our first supercharging stop, Dad's first electric road trip. We've got a cinnamon roll, and uh, the car is almost ready, so we're gonna get in here and check it out. All right, so uh, we just finished our second charging stop. It's 2:12 in the afternoon. Had a nice lunch. The car was ready before we were, and we are next stop, Starbase. Okay, cool. Yeah, it should be it should be a good time. Off we go. Okay, so we're, dri we're driving into Starbase. We can see the Mega Bay, the Rocket Garden, the High Bay, and there's the orbital launch tower with the Starship everything on it. We are two and a half miles from the main entrance to Starbase. So All right, good morning. It is Monday, April 17, 2023. It's what, 6 49? We're watching them fueling up the Starship. Morning, Dad. Morning, how you doing? Great. Now, what did we do yesterday? Oh, we came down here all the way in your Tesla, and it was a fantastic trip. Went to, where did we go? Oh, Starbase. Starbase is unbelievable. Oh, yeah, what'd you uh, do? Un unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't really describe it. You gotta see it. That's pretty cool. And then we went to the Hopper House. Yeah, Hopper House. Had a beer and came back one yeah. bed early. Yeah. So we're gonna head down to the beach here and see what we can see. And if it doesn't go, we'll try tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. All right, let's grab our chairs and go. Okay, so any predictions? A, is it gonna launch today? Oh, I think, I'm going for it. You think it's launching? I'm going for it, we're going for All it. All right, do you think it will, how far do you think it'll make it before blowing up? I think it's going all the way. I'm, I'm totally in. Okay, I, I'll be really impressed if it hits max Q, yeah. which we should be able to see. I'm putting all the chips in. Okay, uh -huh. I mean, well, I'm expecting at least one more delay. It's supposed to take off at 820, we'll see what happens. Here we are at the beach. Beautiful sunrise. Got a chair set up. Got our speaker set up. And it's going to take off right there and hopefully go up and gone. But we'll see. 
All right, it's 818. They scrub for the day, some kind of pressure issue, so we're going to pack it in. Rolls another day. Yeah, that's right. I'll try again later. morning in South Padre Island. It's Wednesday, April 19. Day one, two, three, day four. We're, uh, we think, still on track for a launch tip tomorrow, Friday, or tomorrow, Thursday. So we're sending positive vibes of a go. Yesterday we just kind of chilled out, went out for Mexican food at lunch, and found some seafood for dinner. I thought I really enjoy coming out here to the beach with my cup of coffee in the morning. Just kind of centering myself before the day. I'm having a great time. I'm so glad I got this time with my dad. It's so great. Wish I'd done this here. Morning, Morning, Dad. What day is it? It is go day. Thursday. April 20th, it is... Go day! What is it, like 8 o'clock in the morning or something? Yeah, we're we're in the last day. hour of the countdown. Yeah. Everybody's marching by. We have a... You can't really see it there. We have a dead shot of a uh, launch pad out there. It's just to the right of that one tower. So we're in place and ready to roll. And today's the day. It's going, right? Going! Absolutely. It's going. Hell or high water, it's going. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, I'm excited. This has been great. Hey, this is Christmas again. The last three days have been kind of torture, just waiting for it, you know? Very suspenseful. I had trouble sleeping last night. Oh. Now's the time. And we see, the funny thing is we see blue sky right over yeah. us. Like there's a lot of blue sky right above us. But it seems like the more we go to the pad, the less blue sky there is. Um, so it, it's getting better. We see the rocket at this point, which is uh, actually not not that common for this night so far. Next, we'll see as we get past T minus 40 seconds for final checks of the vehicle. Okay, you can see the clock is recycled. Flight director has called a hold. We are recycling. For the moment, we'll see where they move the clock back to. They could hold at T minus 40 seconds. They could go to an earlier point. Give us a minute to listen into the nets and we'll see if we can get you more information to share. Insbrucker again here at the Hawthorne webcast desk. We're holding a T minus 40 seconds. What we've heard so far is we have a couple of issues we're working. One is the booster tank pressurization. Uh, final pressurization was just a little bit uh, long. That's not unusual. We've held a T minus 40 seconds before to pressurize. That appears to have been resolved. At the same time on the second stage, they're working some final purging. Uh, we should know very shortly if that is clear and if we'll continue the countdown. Everyone, especially that person, is excited <laughs> to keep going. <laughs> like John said, we should know shortly um, if we are able to continue. Uh, but as we mentioned before, we are able to hold uh, up to 15 minutes and still be able to lift off today. If I can interrupt, yeah. it looks like they're clearing all the flags and we're going to release at T minus 40 seconds. Um, like John just said, the teams are quickly working that and it looks like the flags are being cleared as we speak. So we should be able to resume the launch countdown any moment now. 
And it's worth noting on Starship that once we resume the countdown, it restarts from the 40 second period and then we keep exactly. going unless another condition pops up. So stick around because <laughs> uh, Starship could be going here real soon. <laughs> Don't walk away, that's for sure. <laughs> Amazing views here coming to us from Starbase, Texas. Big, big flame. I wonder what happened. Still, 
I'll take the win. win. I'll yeah. take the win. <laughs> I'll take the win. Take the for your lap. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Yeah, that is incredible. Okay. Nice. Wow, look at that big cloud from the uh, from the lawn site. Yeah. Holy cow. That's unreal. Yeah. So what just happened? So how was that for you? It was uh, one of the greatest moments of my life, you know? It's exactly like being there for the Wright brothers. I'm going to remember this forever. I can always look back and, and say, Ken was there when they launched that sucker. Yeah, and it was, it was great. Like, yeah. The, the sound wasn't as loud as I no, thought. No, I thought it'd be a lot worse. Yeah. But here's what I thought. I didn't think we get our own eyeballs to see the whole damn flight. We saw up to where a stage separation should have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, a big flamey, and uh, apparently there's a new reef out there somewhere uh, for some fish. Something's going to come down <laughs> someplace. I promise you that. Yeah, thanks for coming on this trip, Dad. Oh, I, yeah. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. I yeah. mean, it was, it's really a highlight of my life. We've had a great time. Yeah, we had a fantastic time. All right, let's go watch the SpaceX stream again and see what we didn't see from the ground. Amen. See those onboard cameras. Yeah, take the victory lamp. That was incredible. Take the victory lamp. Incredible. Okay, good morning, Dad. It's Friday, the 21st. Good morning. Headed home. We're headed home. Been a long week. Been a great week. Right. We're going to see how fast we can get home. What time is it? It says it, 7.46. It's 7.46 and we're on the road again. I should be home by 3. All right, let's go do this. Okay, so we're back. It's Friday afternoon. It was like, what, 3.30, 3.40? Great trip. Great trip. Had wonderful, home. wonderful trip. Experience of a lifetime. I'll never forget it. Yeah, we should have done this sooner. I love you, Dad. Love you, too.